Uh, we came in here uh, off the left ready to go play these guys, and uh, we just got big play by their guys on offense uh, too many times uh, to, to win the game today. Uh, there was just um, a bunch of explosive plays doing the things that they do. There's nothing new, nothing new, just stuff that they did. They executed really well. Made some great throws when the guys were open down the field. Pretty good, nice job of that. But uh, just too many explosive plays to, to hold these guys in, in check. And, um, and got to give them a lot of credit. They're, they're, they're a good club. I mean, had we done those things, it would have been a much tighter football game than we had a chance. We were, we were uh, able to score. We were able to move the ball a little bit. Um, I thought Drew, Drew did an excellent job in this game. Uh, and as you, you can expect going into a game like this, you're going to come out after, you're going to say there's three or four plays or two or three plays that you wish wouldn't happen the way they did. Um, and you just hope that they didn't beat you in the game. And, uh, but he, he did a lot of cool stuff. Um, and uh, came through for us to give us a chance. Um, so uh, we got banged up a little bit. Uh, Spoon got uh, bruised ribs. We don't know how extensive that is. Um, if he could have gone back in, he would. It was not a head injury. It was a ribs in injury. And, and Artie Burns uh, got banged a little bit. It should be okay. So we'll see. So we came out of it all right. Um, it's hard. It's hard uh, coming back. Uh, it's been too many weeks. Come back in the long with losses, and uh, it's been a challenge. And it's a challenge for all of us. And here we go again. We're going against one of the best teams in the NFC uh, this next week. It just this is this is the challenge uh, portion of this season. We're going to see if we can make it through it. Uh, the fourth quarter of this season is still there for us to, to do something with it, and we'll see if we can. And uh, I, I believe these guys are going to bounce back and be ready to go again. And it's a Monday night or on, in, at home. And we've got to get ready and have a great week in preparation to do that and see if we can get a game. We've got to get back on track because this, this losing thing sucks. You said it was stuff that the 49ers had done already. It wasn't anything new. Was this just a matter of They ran tough sweepers, 70 yards, you know. They're, they're, that's their favorite play. So we've been practicing against it all you know, the whole time. But that, that's what I mean by that. You know, and and uh, so there was nothing special with that. They went deep on a deep crosser. You know, he's been doing that his whole career. You know, we saw it. We, we just didn't play it right. And we gave it to him. Kittle in short yard in a play action pass and for heavy personnel, you know. He's been doing that his whole career. So there's, there's nothing new about those things. We didn't execute well enough to stop the, you know, those opportunities. Because they were, that's, that's the stuff we practice and we need to come through and make those players. How close was Gino to being able to play? Uh, he, he, he ran around a little bit and threw the ball, but he couldn't go. He, he couldn't go in one direction with any confidence. And, and if he could, he would have played for sure. I mean, he was absolutely of the mindset to go, and he, he came out early today and went through an extensive workout. He got a lot of you know, stuff done under control, but he didn't have it. He, he, he didn't have the ability to push in one direction, and so that's classic for, for going in the end. So it just wasn't the right thing to do to throw him out there you know, under those circumstances. So and he wasn't he wasn't calling, he didn't call off, he made me call him off. You know, he was going, he wanted to go. I, th I thought he did a great job right from the beginning. The opening drive was, was you know, beautiful, um, and that, that's a good, that's a really good sign for Drew. You know, it wasn't too too big for him in any way. He wasn't too nervous. He wasn't jittery at all. He came right down the field and, and, and threw threw a great ball to DK to, to get us in the end zone. And, and throughout, excuse me, and throughout, I, I, his calm on the sidelines, his ability to communicate about what was going on and how to adjust and the things that were coming up in the next sequence and the next series, he was on it. He was a real pro about it. So. Uh, he did a really good job. But with the extra day, did you know why we didn't change the I, I, I don't know that. You know, I, it, it certainly helps us, uh, you know, and that was part of the thinking. Of, I mean, he, he couldn't play today. He, he would, you know, he wanted to you know, go out there and slug it out, but uh, it was right to not play him. Um, but we'll just have to go day to day and see how he goes and see how much he comes back. It'll be like Spoon's injury, you know, those ribs, you know, you got to go day to day and see how, how he can respond to it. You know, we, we won't know. We won't know until all the way to the game time, I'm sure. And the same thing with Gino. It's you know it's a jolt you know we get jolted by that we you know it was <clears throat> even when it happened it wasn't such a violent situation that, that happened you know that you say oh you can see why he's hurt you know he, he just he tweaked his groin and, you know on taking a funky step after stumbling over a, a defensive player and it just stumbled a little bit you would never have thought that the guy could, would get hurt there but he hit it wrong so um, the good part of it it wasn't a violent you know whatever you know incident and so. Um, he'll, he'll come back and he can throw, he can move around, he just 
can't move around the way he needs to to, to play this game. This oh. is uncharted ground for you. Yeah, you got that right. Um, what is the message to him, and what buttons do you need to push him down? We have, we have to be in and, and click into the finish mode here, the, the fourth quarter of the season, and, and regain our stride and our mentality to, to execute the way we need to execute. We didn't execute right today. We gave them big plays, and the, certainly they had to throw and catch it. But they, those plays should not have happened to us. And so that's easily uh, fixed. And uh, not everybody does it the way they do it. They, they just they played their game, their style. You saw how they featured their, their key players, and it worked out for them again. And uh, they, they've got a real good thing going. And, and uh, we, th those are all things that we can stop really pretty. They shouldn't even have thrown those balls. They should have been back there, and they don't even throw it to somebody else and checks the ball down. Yeah, so that's stuff that we can, you know, we can certainly improve. Can you do different stuff than what they're doing in Oh no, we we missed Spoon, Spoon would have made some tackles that we missed today. You know, he, he he's a ball player and he gets guys on the ground and he, he's in the nickel spot. He'd be inside. He'd have made some of those plays. I mean, he's he's just really good at it. And so we did miss him without question. What was your view, I guess, of kind of the practice of Perkins at the end there? No, I, I, I saw DK get drilled in the back of the head you know, on on the play, and then so I, I didn't know what happened after that. But there, I, I don't know who he mixed it up with or made that hit either. I didn't see that. But uh, I guess it was number two that wanted to get, get tossed out also. And uh, so it's, it's just tensions and, and uh, it's hard. It's a hard time now. And these guys are fighting through and they're trying to figure it out. They don't, they're not willing to accept what's going on. And, and so they're going to fight and that, it, to some extent. And that's what happened. And some of the young guys thought they should go out there and fight too. You know, they're, they're totally in the wrong place at the wrong time. Jackson's deal and, and I'm pulling the, a B out of out of the you know out of the couple of different times. They're not sure yet if they're learning how to you know they want to be upstanding and they want to stand for you know for the toughness and competitiveness. But we gotta you know we gotta pick up one of this and one it doesn't. So we're learning that and that's part of the, it's the first time young guys ever get involved like that. But I thought three or four guys um, were out of whack a little bit, you know, trying to chest up with people and not knowing really was that what they should be doing. And uh, so we'll try to teach them the 4th and 2 I didn't want the game to be decided right there. You know, give them give give them the ball the 40 yard line. It's a tough game, a tight game. I figure we'll kick the ball and and, and play defense and and, uh, and and play it like you know where you don't just give them the football at the 40 something yard line. I mean, you're giving them that, that whole first half if you do that. So I'm always fine. Do you think you have more success on those Well, it, it's, it, it's really easy for everybody to say you should just go for it, you know, because if you go for it and you make it, it's fine. But if you go for it and you don't make it, it's the issue. It's not if you make it, that's easy. Right? I think they're going to convert a fourth down or somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And, but it's easy. When, and so that uh, the outlook has to understand, what, from my perspective, you've got to understand what happens if you don't make it. And if something, somebody slips or whatever goes down or you don't make the block or whatever happens, they get the ball right there and it's first down. It's a turnover. That's a turnover. It's just like you threw them an interception right there. And what would happen if you threw them an interception right there? Well, you'd be on your heels and they would be gaining the momentum of the opportunity and all of that. So is it worth giving them a turnover to make that first down? No, it wasn't in my opinion. And, you know, there's times I've gone for it in that situation. And more, if you believe in who you are and what you're all about, you should kick the football right there and let's go play some more ball. Even the execution, the guy's in the right place to make the play. He just needs to finish it. Uh, we have to recognize them. They were almost like gifts in a sense because of the things that we practiced, and, and part of our, you know our vernacular. And, and if here comes this route. When this route happens, we do this, and we practice a dog out of that stuff, and just didn't see it and react to it properly. We got we bit up on a play fake on second and nine. And these guys don't run the football in that situation, and, and there goes Kittle. You know that that's it's bad ball. You know, and we have to be better than that. So. It's happened before, and that's why people do play action passes, and they try to beat you deep uh, in, in, in running situations, and unfortunately, we didn't actually do that. I hope he was Ken Walker today. He looked pretty darn good. I thought he looked phenomenal. I mean, his, his competitiveness and, and his getting after it, um, it worked out. You know, the whole process of bringing him back and the way the guys prepped him and, and all of that worked out beautifully for him to be able to contribute in a huge way. He was a fantastic place today. Um, and, and those were plays where he was torquing around, 
So he must be okay. You know, and that's all you can, you can say. And uh, got to give him a lot of credit. That was a heck of a game for him to bounce back. The touchdown pass to Parkinson, was that the play you guys got from them last year? Um, it's an old NFL play. It's been around for a long time. What was your message to the locker room guys? About finishing this fourth quarter and, and, and continuing to be Tyler had talked to these guys about how, how valuable and how important it is to keep believing. And uh, you know, it's picked up there. I think it's even more. That's how you get this done. Anything else? Thank you. Here's Jeremy. Thanks, Coach. Uh, Jeremy, 